As a family doctor, one of my jobs is to try and keep people well. That means preventing disease before it happens. So one of the things we try and do is try and ensure that people get screened for cancer so we can catch it early and prevent death from cancer. In our own practice in downtown Toronto, we worked hard to improve screening rates for colorectal, breast, and cervical cancer. We sent letters to patients and phone calls to try and bring them in when they were overdue and had our nurses and physicians uh, speak to them about what screening entailed. Our efforts were rewarded because our screening rates went up. But then when we did a deeper dive into the data, we realized there was a problem. That our one-size-fits-all solution actually wasn't working for everyone. What we really needed, we realized, was a customized approach. In particular, patients who are living with a low income were much less likely to be screened than patients living with a higher income. So our idea was to try and work with patients. Patients who were living the realities of living with a low income, who were reluctant to get screened, and understand from them what were some of the barriers to getting screened and what were some of the potential solutions. When we started the process, we had some ideas about the, what the barriers to screening might be from the patient perspective, but we were actually pretty surprised to learn how important fear was. So they really told us that fear could be quite huge for some people. So it might be fear of the test itself, it could be fear of what a diagnosis of cancer might mean, and for some people even just the word cancer incited fear for them. We also had expected that we would be making a lot of improvements to our cancer screening reminder letter that we sent out, but actually our patients told us that the letter, sure, it's good for people who are engaged in screening, but might have just fallen behind. But for those who are really leery about screening, the letter wasn't gonna be that much of a help. They told us they wanted to learn not just about cancer screening, but they also wanted to learn about prevention and wellness in general. They also told us they wanted to have lots of time for questions, and that they liked the idea of a group setting where they could talk to, to each other and talk to the person leading the session as well. So our new pilot program really reflects that patient feedback. It involves education about screening, it involves education about wellness and prevention, we talk about diet, um, we provide patients with money for transportation if they need it, and we provide food as well to make it feel like a really nice, comfortable setting. At the end of the visit, we do provide patients opportunity if they want to have a pap test right then and there with a nurse or nurse practitioner. They also have the chance to take home a colorectal cancer screening kit. And then if they want to, they can go across to have a mammogram done together as a group. So we've really tried our best to incorporate that patient feedback into these pilot sessions.